Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel guys. I hope you're doing fabulous. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your generosity, your likes, your shares, your comments, your subscriptions guys. You will notice now I have a watermark on all of my videos. Anything without my watermark on those videos are not from me. And I've been authenticated by YouTube. I have a check mark beside my name. You will know that that's me. Don't fall for any scammers, guys. If it does not have the check mark and the watermark on my videos, it is not me. I will never solicit you for readings, tell you to call me, text me. It will not happen, guys. So that being said, we are going to be starting to doing the giveaways pretty soon, guys. These beautiful handcrafted feng shui manifestation candle holders are some of the prizes. So it's going to be exciting days. Let's see what Spirit wants to say to the collective. What is it that you would like to say to the collective energy? Whoa, motivator, leadership, yeah. Motivate yourself to better finances. Life coach, public speaking, activism, lobbying, or mentoring. Balance being kind to yourself and bring your own boot Camp deep leader. Leadership. You're stepping into a role as a leader and you are ready. Your career will improve once you accept and step into your power. You're, you could have been following the crowd, fear of putting yourself out there. You may have had setbacks. Feeling like you're taking one step forward, two steps back. But these setbacks are telling you that you're not ready to enter the next phase. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. You are being told to be a leader. Celebrations. There will be a celebration in regards to your work. As you see more success, don't use that as an excuse to stop having fun. You're, you could be getting burned out from work, 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 add a little fun. Counselor, a financial coach can help you reach your financial goals. Maybe you need to see a family or a marriage therapist or being a grief counselor or doing energy healing work. Maybe you're a good, great motivator. In order to be a great healer, you must be healed. Gaia, trust that the universe has a better place plan than you do, protecting the planet, herbalism, or working in nature in some way. Spend more time with nature to be healed, soothed, and regroup. You could be doing odd jobs. Consider creating multiple streams of income, second jobs, odd jobs. Freedom is more important than financial security. Sometimes it's okay to take a transition job, even if it doesn't lead to a career. So some of you could be getting disgruntled with your career, your job. Let's see. And it's telling you to be your own, uh, your own motivator, your own boot camp leader. Uh, sometimes things don't work out. Uh, and setbacks are there because it's not the position you're supposed to be in. You're a great problem solver. Ask questions. Be creative. This is adapt that entrepreneurial energy. 
You're very resourceful and clever. You could be inquiring about a masculine energy or you are the masculine energy. This is a bridge, communication. Collaboration, harmony, overcoming barriers. What is this? Guidance system. Plotting a course of action, use tact and diplomacy. What is this? Someone's at a crossroads. You may have multiple choices, traveling or using, you could have an opportunity. To go on a road trip. Hmm. The book. The unknown. Philosophy. Intellect. Knowledge. Education. Some of you could be writers. Writing about your trips. Writing about uh, navigational equipment or... Mm. Be prepared for anything. Hmm. White wolf, trust your inner knowing. Believe in your power. You have stamina and resilience to do whatever it is you want to do. Collective energy. Someone has deep regret. They think it's too late. Someone is not emotionally invested and they feel that this is your life partner, but I'm telling you right now that someone I think you got tired of waiting for this person. Someone's overthinking the situation. They were manipulated into something toxic and now there's this childish energy here or children are affecting the relationship. Your presence is very intimidating. I don't know. This person feels like you were going to wait for them. But Spirit is saying you forgive them too much. You might be on a solo journey here. And maybe you're spending too much time alone, you know, waiting for this person to, you know, Hmm. No need to rush love. Enjoy the journey. You took your love away. And they expected you to come back.
And now you're reflecting on your inner world. And now they have deep frustration. They're experiencing a lot of anger. Huh. Whoever they're with is sitting here. This is a selfish karmic who is narcissistic. And this person sits here angry and frustrated at this karmic because who they really want is you. They're experiencing a lot of anger right now. They are not on the same page with this karmic. And this karmic always is wanting the upper hand. Karmic has secrets, you know. This is their fate. That's what they chose. was all based on physical attraction. They moved on with someone new and this person sits here waiting for you to come back. They're deeply frustrated and angry that they are getting their fate. They're unhappy. Hmm. They feel they miss the train with you. They tried to control timing or something. Made everything else a priority, but yet they know that you are the one. They can't read you anymore. They cannot read you anymore. Because there are differences in intelligences here. So they're learning a harsh lesson. The karmic is manipulating them. saying if your person married someone, it's going to end up in a divorce because there are just misunderstandings, communication problems, children interfering, because they are not the one. You've reclaimed your power with the panther spirit and now you're getting endless miracles some of you are working from home reclaiming your power and that's that koi fish <laughs> there's always enough make your dreams real eagle spirit spirit has your back Magic works through you. Slow and steady wins the race. You're going it alone, guys, and you are definitely being encouraged to do so. That's karmic relationship. The ancestors and guides are here. Ooh. Community, finding a new community, your group. This person's out of balance. They have no balance. They may not be caring for themselves at this time. You're receiving a legacy here. 
using your vision and your intuition. They feel uh, like an emotional desert here. And you're releasing your difficulties. Look, your chakras are all being aligned here. Look at the archangels and the angels all moving around you. Getting rewarded. Look at the angels. Healing your heart. Look, you're taking positive step forwards. You're the teacher. And now I told you, they are sitting here going through all this storm. Uncontrollable feelings and emotions. They're getting angry. They're getting frustrated. They're like trying to figure their life out. They can't figure out. They're frustrated at this karmic. They're frustrated with themselves. This person is getting ready to pop. Oh boy. Mm. They're under judgment for cheating. That's why. Spirit is teaching them a lesson. Hmm. This person can't find their way. It's like... <laughs> They're frustrated because they can't communicate with you. Something is out of balance. Their emotions are out of balance. This person can't get you off their mind. They're heavily burdened. Something keeps weighing on this person. The frustration is building in this person. They're going to pop. They have kept their emotions down so low for so long. It's all bubbling up. They're about to pop. I told you. They're they're frustrated. They're fighting, they're arguing, they're exhausted, they're like combative, they're, ooh, I don't know, because you're always on their mind. They might have heard your good news, they might have heard that you're getting all these nice things happening in your life, you know what I mean? And that, they're hurt, their emotions they're really struggling with their emotions. I'm telling you right now. Because you were their mentor. You were their guide. You were the thing that kept them stable and balanced. And you're taking your power away from them. And you're manifesting your future. And your future stability. You've made the decision to build on a solid foundation. You are in the magician energy of taking your power back. Entrepreneurial energy. Thinking of new creative ideas, new solutions, new jobs. Moving, traveling, building, celebrating something to do with your work. What you have manifested. And they're sitting over here feeling betrayed with this other lover because they know they're not on the same page as this karmic like the emperor and the empress belong together they are not on the same page <coughs> with this other lover there is maybe cultural differences different religious points of view, fighting, arguing, emotional differences, financial differences, spiritual differences. I don't know. They're not on the same page. And that's their fate. 
And that is your destiny. <laughs> they feel lonely, depressed. They're spying on you. Yeah, look. You're confident, you're an entrepreneurial energy, you're glowing. Why are they so depressed? Now they're hurt and they're sad and they're depressed because what they're not on the same page with this karmic. It was meant to be a lesson and it's going to end with the Ten of Swords. That relationship was a karmic connection. And it was a contract, and it was not meant to last. It's going to end up in divorce if they're married. This person wants to reconcile with you. Hmm. That's the truth. It's going to end in a tower. This person's going to blow their stack. They really are. Because this was destined. You were the wheel of fortune. You turned the wheel in your favor. They turned the wheel in the opposite direction. Going broke. They're angry. They're frustrated. They're hostile. They don't want to be there. They could be getting sick, there could be illnesses, depression, sadness, children involved. And all they want was their soulmate. <laughs> They're at a war over here. Over children. There's a child involved. Uh, A lot of defense, accusations, slander being done. This person's been waiting for you to return. That was their happiness. <laughs> They're cold. They're cold. Defensive. They're because they were trapped. They're somewhere where they didn't want to be. You know what I mean? That's consequences. Now it's like they're thinking about their priorities, okay? They could be daydreaming about you, thinking about you. They're fighting, they're arguing. This person has got a lot of pent up anger and frustration. They're confused, they're overthinking, they're overanalyzing. They keep thinking about the opportunity that got away. Keep thinking about the past and how they should have presented you this offer. They should have worked on this relationship. And they think it's too late. They think it's, you know, they missed their chance with the Ten of Pentacles. I don't know where this queen fits in yet. Oh, this queen is jealous. <laughs> Whoever they married, if they married, it's going to lead to a divorce. They There's some hateful words being said, some deep. This karmic, whoever they're with, is a feminine narcissist. Okay? They're cold, they're calculated, they're not on the same page, there's differences in culture, religion, age, uh, children, whatever. You know what they always say, you know, first marriages, what is the statistics? It's like 53% or something success rate. Whereas second marriages are probably around 35%, so the studies say, somewhere around there. Don't quote me on it. This is this person's second. And 
or second serious relationship, live-in relationship, I don't care. They're with a narcissist, okay? Their priority is all about the money. And they're, they're sad, they're hurt, and they're crying about you, how they missed this opportunity with you. And they're stuck with a narcissist, a feminine narcissist. If it's a masculine narcissist, then that's who they're stuck with. They're alone anyway. They feel alone anyway. They're not balanced, okay? They have no balance in their life. Hmm. They see you getting a victory. <laughs> They're stressed the hell out. Sleepless nights, can't sleep. I don't know, maybe they got kids. They, they're confused. They're always working. They're fighting and arguing all the time. It's like regret, regret, regret. They're like... I don't know, if they have children, they can't sleep, they're tired all the time, they're exhausted, they're unstable, if they want to walk away, they're going to end up walking away because they can't hack it. They're bored, they're discontent, and it's going to end anyway. They've been keeping something close to their chest for a long time. They have buried their emotions so deeply. They're going to pop. When this person pops, they're going to pop big. You know, they were just in it for the sex. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm. They're trying to get away from a child. Or maybe they have a sneaky ass child that's getting into trouble or something. I don't know. They feel stuck. They want to sneak away. It's like they could have a child who is starting to get into trouble starting to steal things, starting to lie. I don't know, they could be stealing from the King of Wands. It's karma, man. If they have a karmic child, karmic children, you know, quite often karmic children are born out of addiction, quite honestly. There could be drugs involved. There could be uh, toxic behaviors, you know, hard to handle kids. I mean, we're talking about kids who, um, like I said, they're born out of uh, addiction. So, I mean, that's addi addictive personality traits. That's Alcohol addicted, drug addicted, uh, sneaky energy. Children are getting in the way. Maybe the child is stealing from the King of Wands. Maybe there's a child stealing from the King of Wands and got caught them. And then it's like, oh my God, I don't even want to know. Yeah, it's money. And they're, they feel foolish for hurting you. They're under judgment. They made a foolish judgment call, a foolish decision. They want to leave there. They want their true love.
this person is drinking in silence. They're keeping things under wraps. They're trying to keep quiet. It's like they want the high priestess. They want to present you an offer. They want to apologize to you. This person has been like this. Keeping their emotions, their feelings all bottled up. They could be, when this particular person blows, like I said, it's going to be game over. They're the silent type. They keep everything in. They bury it deep, deep down. And then when they blow, they blow big. Because you resonated with them. You were on the same page as this person. And it's almost like nobody else understands them. This karmic don't understand them. They're not, they're on totally different wavelengths. They're on two different pages. Um, yeah, there's just so many disagreements here. There's kids getting into trouble, okay? There is financial disputes, family disputes, friendship disputes. They just can't communicate with this person. Now, if there's kids involved, they can't sleep at night. They're always worrying. They're always stressed out. The kids, the kids, the kids. I mean, maybe the kids are, you know, really loud or they cry a lot or they don't get a lot of sleep. It's just building 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 i mean like i said some of these emperors are way older they've already raised their children for some of these and then they're starting all over again and it's almost as if the frustration is like now i remember why i was so glad my kids were grown or oh, i'm so glad that <laughs> I'm not, I, I love kids, but guys, when you get to be our age, if I had to start parenting again, I think I'd lose my, I could not do it. I know me. I couldn't do it. Like I came from a large family and I had my kids, like my oldest now is 41 or something or you know what I mean? Oh, I don't think I could start having small children around me again, teenagers around me again. I think to God if I had a teenager around me, I don't know what I'd do. I'd run. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, but I mean... I've raised my kids. I would not want to be starting another household. I, I just couldn't do it. I know me. I'd be so frustrated I'd want a ball. Like, I have grandchildren. And I love seeing them. And I love visiting with them. But mercy, I love having them back. I, I'm sorry, but I do. I got other things I want to do. I mean, I love seeing them. I enjoy them when they're with me. I enjoy every moment of it. But man, I am getting older. Like, I might want to have a nap. <laughs> Just saying. I don't think I could deal with teenagers again. I'm sorry, especially if they're getting into trouble and stealing and you know stuff like that getting involved with drugs and alcohol i don't think well i'm just saying that i'd probably be good at it but i wouldn't want to do it put it to you that way it's nothing i would sign up for no 
I wouldn't sign up for it. The currents of emotions are brewing. What a storm that's about to come. This person would even love to have a friendship with you, like an adult conversation. You know what I mean? They're going to blow. I'm telling you, their tempers are flaring. The emotions run deep when this person blows their stack. It's going to be beyond Shit's going to hit the fan and people are going to get tossed, man, I'm telling you. They don't appreciate being trapped. They don't appreciate people pulling the wool over their eyes. And maybe these are violent kids. I don't know. Maybe they don't like this emperor. Maybe they don't like this feminine. I don't know. Being told what to do, controlled, criticized. Give me a break. This person's just trying to work. Their emotions are going to burst when they need it. They need it. The person they're with is hot and cold, hot and cold. Maybe they're bipolar. Maybe they're a hothead. They're a, a narcissist is what they are. Take care, guys.